Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to use images in presentation like a pro. What are some basic do's and don'ts that you need to keep in mind while downloading imagery? I have been saying this from the very beginning that PowerPoint is not just a tool or not just a software to dump data. It's a visual storytelling tool. And nothing can tell stories like the way images do. But does it mean that you can use any and every imagery? Absolutely not. So let's learn what are the key things that you need to keep in mind while downloading imagery that can make your presentation look impactful and also support trying to say on your slides. So without any further ado, let's begin. Avoid stock images. I think this is something that uh, most of you will know about. But we end up using stock images. And when I say stock images, I mean the pictures which look inorganic. Pictures where you see that people are sitting and staring into the camera and they are, you know, doing it for the shoot. So, for example, if you look at these images, they don't look real, right? And they, that's why they do not provoke any emotion when you look at the presentation. They do not communicate the message that you're trying to say. These are just some people shooting for the camera. And now, I think in last four or five years, we have had so many websites that offer organic and human images that I personally would not like to use these stock images, especially the ones where, you know, for example, uh, hands shaking in front of a globe or people holding each other's hand in order to show teamwork. There are better pictures and there are better options, trust me. And another thing is that these images that, you know, the one that we talk about, they have been getting used since years. Like I remember the teamwork image where people are holding hand. People have been using it for almost 10 years, like a decade. So I think it's time to change the way we look at images. It's time to change the way we use images. And it's time to change the images we use, most importantly. All right. So that's, that's going to be my first tip for you guys. If you love to download images for your presentation, avoid stock images. Moving on to the second one, avoid using clip arts. So I personally love using vectors and icons, but clip art is one thing that I would prefer not to use. Once in a while, maybe that's fine even if you use it, but I think clip art can totally kill the way your presentation looks, especially like these sort of clip arts where they are, these are the computer human images. I don't think they do any justice or they uplift the look and feel of your presentation because See, the idea of using an image is to create an experience for the user, to create certain impact through your slide, right? To communicate through the visual. But these uh, sort of clip arts, I do not think that they solve the purpose. So my suggestion would be to not use clip art. If, if you have to use, uh, you know, let's say animated images, try to use vector files. There are so many beautiful vector files available. You can use, in fact, icons. Icons are better than these clip art files. And, you know, I think these again have been done to death. People have been using these clip arts for the longest time. My first presentation that I designed and I, uh, in fact, I, the first presentation I saw had these clip arts and, and of course at that point of time I found it really cool but my request is not to use these clip arts. All right. Now moving on to the next point. I think this is something which is pretty obvious that you should not be using watermarks but I personally have seen people using watermarks. And that's why I wanted to uh, make this as one of the key things in the image section that please do not use images which have watermark. They completely kill the vibe of the slide, like honestly. So, and I understand that it's easier obviously to find images with watermark, but they would not look effective. Even if they have one small watermark on right side or left side on top or bottom, please uh, spend a little time you know, check out a couple of more pages, but find a, find some image which does not have a watermark. That's something that I would insist on for your presentation, especially if you're using full picture, actually for all, all images, but for full picture slides, it's a complete no-no because I think it's just going to kill your slide rather than, you know, uplifting the look and feel. All right. Coming to the next point for images. Do not distort images. This is something that I told earlier as well, but uh, I wanted to reiterate in the image section as well. So whenever you have to use images and you have to increase the size, please do not expand 
or you know distort the images by stretching them from the right or from the top or the bottom always always increase the size using the corners because then the the size will increase in the particular ratio in which the image is which would not distort the image otherwise they will look either compressed or they will look stretched like if suppose this is my image if i use it like this or if i use it like this it is going to look really bad so always increase the size from the side like this because uh, i have seen people using especially you know when you create small small uh, shapes like circle or let's say a square where you insert the image smaller shapes there people tend to always distort the image so even if you have to use like if you have to use a smaller shape use the crop feature you can crop the area that you do not want you can always do this you know if you want smaller do it like this but do not distort the image by you know just compressing it or stretching it from the wrong sides all right moving on to our next point use high resolution images so you know especially for uh, presentations where you're using full picture slide like this one it's always a great idea to look for a high resolution image and let me quickly tell you also when you are actually uh, searching for the image on google i'll explain it to you so for example if i have to look for let's say milky way i'll go to images always go to tools and go for the large size in most probability this will be going to be a picture that you can use for full screen without pixelating because the pictures which pixelate they are not able to create any impact trust me so let's see if this one is high resolution enough let's try that but i think it's a, it's a super important point because images which are pixelating they look really bad in a presentation because the idea of images is to create a visual experience for the person who's seeing the presentation and this sort of images which actually pixelate will kill the experience instead, instead of you know making it better look at this image if you're putting images in a small uh, boxes or something in that case you can use medium image as well but when it comes to full screen images please always always use high resolution images all right which means go to the large option coming to the next important point use only relevant images i have seen people using images uh, which look nice they are aesthetically very nice or they might be humorous but they are not relevant a lot of times so it's great to find a aesthetically nice looking image but if it's not relevant to your content then the whole purpose gets dissolved so make sure that you use relevant images based on the context of your slide it might take a little longer to you know search for it but trust me if the image is not relevant to the context it is not going to help your cause it's not going to help your slide at all all right now moving on to the next point i think it's time that we realize the power of full screen images uh, because i still see people using this sort of layout where they use image in a small case and you know then the rest of the content is here try and see and i'm not saying that for every slide you should use a full screen image but any slide where you think that you know uh, where you want to create certain sort of concept theme uh, the 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 slides which can actually create an impact in your presentation in those slides specifically try to play with full screen images in, because you know that's the safest way to go right in presentation honestly uh, i know we learned about other tools that you can use but the safest way to create a good looking presentation is use full screen images as long as your data allows you know for for uh, presentations where you just have to use one pointer one single thing or one maybe one sub -head heading in those cases go for full screen images and trust me your presentation will look fabulous you won't have to use many tools you just have to find the appropriate images that is super important uh, things like where to place text in those images is very important and that is something we are going to learn about in a while so make sure that you experiment and see that you know using full screen images trust me it's going to change the way uh, your presentation looks so if you want to transform your presentation using one simple uh, suggestion it would be use full screen images 
and use relevant images of course all right moving on to the next point uh this is something that i think people don't do enough which is cropping images we have this habit of using the images as is the way we download them but trust me if you start seeing that okay what if i crop the image what if i take the the key area would it look nice it will look damn nice and you will end up creating a beautiful layout because the the key aspect of your picture will be zoomed in so that will create a super nice impact of your slide so try cropping your images it really really helps i'm going to show you one more example over here like this so that was one way of showing uh, you know how you can crop images the second thing is sometimes people use these sort of layout so rather than creating something like this you might as well crop the area and increase the key area i think that really helps create an impact from your slide so what we can do is i'm quickly going to show it to you let's take a picture so for example if this is my image instead of using my image like this on a side even if you don't want to use this as a full picture image which is fine what you can do is use the crop feature here that's super important i am going to increase the size so i'm creating the layout basis that you have a lot of content and you know you need one side for your content so we'll keep it only on the image will be only on one side you can further you know uh, increase the size using the crop feature your picture has to be high resolution of course so you can see the difference between this and this right so the impact is much more when you use slides with cropped images all right so try doing that next time you are using a certain image for your slide now there are multiple types of images available right so we all know about the regular ones which we use for team work let's say or goal vision those thoughts but for certain presentations depending on who your audience is or what kind of presentation you are designing you could use images which are evocative which uh, which create an emotional connect with the audience so for example if you are using uh, if you are creating some sort of a campaign you can for sure use images of you know uh, people who can express emotions trust me that really really connects with the audience another way to connect with audience instantly is using humor because uh, nothing works better than humor but again it totally depends on the audience if you are presenting it to a board of director group then i think humorous is not the way so that is something for you to judge but using humorous images can create an instant connect and i think you really catch attention in the first few seconds so even if you don't want to use humorous images through the ppt start present you know start your presentation with a humorous image and trust me it will instantly catch attention all right now uh, the third thing is use thematic images even if they are a bit dramatic if your presentation allows if the theme is such or if your audience that you're presenting to is such try to use thematic images because they do magic on screen trust me all right now coming to the next option that we have using unique images is very important and when i say unique you know we have this thing out of laziness you can say or uh, uh, lack of time we google the the keyword saying team work for example and we take the first any image from the first page we don't bother going to the second page so i would request to go further look up to 10 pages if required and again i'm going to tell you the websites that you can go to otherwise also but if you're googling images try to go beyond first page in fact i would say try to go beyond third and fourth page that's where the unique images lie and besides google i personally have stopped using google almost uh, i do use it in certain cases but i think there are a lot of really cool websites that can give you unique images that you um, you know that you would come across and you would feel that okay this image is something that i have not seen before and i think it it look really uh, impactful for my presentation so i'm going to take you through the websites as well now coming to the next point so 
I think when when I say one kind of imagery, it means that if you're using these sort of vector files in your PPT, try to stick to them because I think a combination of vector, human, and the computer graphics they look really weird. So if you're using human imagery, try to use human imagery. If you're using vector files, try to stick to vector files. If you're creating a presentation which is thematic, so follow that theme through. Do not mix and match multiple elements because in most of the cases it doesn't work. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this one, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to watch my other videos to learn more about PowerPoint. If there is any particular topic that you want me to cover, you can write in the comment box, and I'll surely make a video on that one as well. Thank you so much.